Hello, I'm John from VFX Channel, and today we're here with another great Photoshop tutorial. This is on giving someone a black eye. Now you can do this by running up and punching them straight in the face, but sometimes that doesn't always work out in your way. So this is a great way to do it without getting hot. So first, get your image. I got mine off of Google, you can do the same. Then, go to filter, liquify. Now zoom in around the eye area and go into the bloat tool. Change your brush size. For this photo I think I'll use a brush size of around 61 and a brush density of around 30. Now just Go around the eye, clicking and dragging and making sure that the eye looks a bit swollen. Make sure it looks realistic, try not to make it look too fake. So just add around all the eye and then click OK once you're happy with your changes. So that's him, he's got a swollen eye. Now we have to create a new layer and change that layer mode to soft light. Now pick the colour that you would like your first part of the bruise to be. I would say the best colour is probably a purple. Now just go around the, zoom in and go around the eye area. Make sure your opacity is at 100%. So just go around all the eye and the area that you would like bruised. Once you've done that, make sure you have no purple in the iris or any of the rest of the eye and zoom back out. As you can see it's starting to look like a real bruise already. But just gonna Soften up some of the edges and make it look a little bit more realistic. Now, second thing is we have to give the bruise a bit more colour because not all bruises are purple. So, create another new layer but also change it to soft light. Pick a yellowy orange colour. I'm going to go for a kind of dark yellow. Now change your brush opacity to around 16%, 19% or whatever you would like to use for your image. And just draw on lightly around the bruise just to give it that extra little bruising. Also you can draw around the eye, just even put it on top of the bruise. So now if we zoom out we can see the bruise looks much more realistic and it can pass more as a real bruise. You can add any more colours that you would like to the bruise, make it look even more realistic. But once you're finished doing that, now we have to give it a little bit of a shadow. So go into the burn tool and go into shadows. Change the exposure to, to around 26%. Well, this is what I'm using for this image, and may be different for yours. Zoomed in a wee bit too much there. And now, we just make our brush size a bit, little bit smaller. And just go around all the darker areas. Now, this may not seem as if it's doing anything, but it just kind of adds a shadow around your eye. Also click on highlights and go around all the eye. Now what highlights does is it makes the yellow and purple blend better with the skin. You can also go around mid-tones and try it too. Just go around the full eye and see what you can do. I think I've got my brows looking good enough. As you can see, it looks as if he's been beat up pretty good. So. There's the before 
and after. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Goodbye.